How do you go from being someone who's exhausted, I mean exhausted, and has no time, feels like you have no time to exercise, no motivation, you're out of shape, you can't open a pickle jar, you find it hard to bend down on the floor and stand up, um, to feeling the way I have felt for the last few months, which is like I could jump over my house. I feel like I have so much more energy and I'm just so much happier and that is uh, what I want for you. Yeah. In my last video, I told you guys that I was gonna talk about me getting scammed or almost getting scammed. And I'm telling the story because it kind of is what sparked like this whole change um, that I made. Um, so, and this was even before I decided to get rid of the apps on my phone and like cut back my caffeine and just start being a lot healthier. I would say like I was at a bit of a low point and again, I wasn't like depressed or super anxious or anything like that. I just felt so tired and so blah and like just didn't feel good about myself. I was sleeping in late, going to bed early, always feeling like tired or like I need a nap, like going to work and just not feeling good at work, like feeling like I was just kind of going through the motions and I love my job. Um, I just felt super blah for lack of better words. And anyway, I was um, just like scrolling on the internet and I saw this ad for this free fitness challenge. And I forget what it was called. It was like, it wasn't like beach body or anything like that. It was like free celebrity body challenge or free something. I don't know. Anyway, it was some kind of like an eight week challenge. And um, I read through it and like normally I wouldn't even click on those types of things, but I was like, oh, I just need something. Like I'm just in such a rut, like I just need to do something. So I clicked on this challenge and it was like, you know, eight weeks, I think it was eight weeks, eight weeks, you know, to get in like really good shape. You'll have a coach and let us motivate you to you know, be red carpet ready or something like that. And it showed like before and after pictures and I was just, I just got suckered into it. So I clicked on it. Um, and I was skeptical because why would it be free? But it even says like, you know, what's in it for us? Why is this free? And it was like, um, you know, this will be advertising. We'll use your before and after pictures and blah, blah, blah. And you're going to feel so good and it's going to be good for our business. And I'm paraphrasing, obviously, I have no idea what it really said, but it was like stuff like that that made me think, okay, like this is free and they're only taking so many people. So maybe, I don't know, this sounds like just what I need. And I got like so excited and I signed up for it. Um, so like the next day I got a text saying like, hi, Susie, thank you for signing up for this thing, blah, blah, blah. You're going to get um, a text or a call from your coach to set up a time for an appointment. So I did that. I set up my appointment. Um, it was my day off. I took my baby to daycare and my son to school. And I got like all ready for my Zoom chat with my trainer. He comes on and is like super excited to talk to me. And like, you know, I'm so happy for you that you decided to sign up for this challenge. It's going to be amazing. He's telling me like all the benefits. And then he asked me, so why did you sign up for the challenge? And I said, well, to be honest, like I, since I had my kids, I don't really make time for myself anymore. Like I used to be in really good shape and I haven't been in shape in years. And um, I just feel tired all the time and, and all this kind of stuff. And then he starts being like, so like, why don't you make time for yourself? And things like, and how does that make you feel that you're not in shape anymore and whatever. And I started getting kind of emotional. Um, and normally, like, if somebody started talking to me like that, I would kind of be like, okay, go on, buddy. Like, what are you getting at here? But I was just so invested. Um, like, I felt like I was fighting back tears because, you know, it is a reality, especially if you are like a young mom or a mom or somebody who um, takes care of other people, it is kind of emotional or kind of hard to kind of lose parts of yourself and that desire to take care of yourself. So I did feel emotional. I felt vulnerable. I went through the whole thing. And then he started being like, you know, what are you going to, 
once you, what are your goals? And I told him like, you know, I don't really have like these big goals. I just want to like look more fit and maybe like lose a couple of pounds. And um, I'm even embarrassed saying this, but anyway, and he's like, so what are you gonna buy yourself when you lose the weight? And I like, I'm so mad now, but at the time I was just like, oh, oh, I don't know, like I don't really buy anything for myself. And he was like, maybe you'll get yourself some new clothes or like the summer's coming, like get yourself a bathing suit or whatever. Like I, it was just so weird. I'm just, anyway, I was still wanting to do it because again, I was vulnerable and I really wanted to get back in shape and it sounded like they were really gonna be like invested in me and all this kind of stuff. So I was like, okay, okay, this sounds like it's for me. I'm, I'm gonna do it. Like I'm really gonna do it. And he's like, okay, so in order to get the eight weeks for free, you have to sign up for like 20 weeks and blah, blah, blah. And it's this much money. And it ended up being like, I don't know, 190 some dollars a month or it could have been 190 some bucks bi-weekly. I blacked out. I don't even remember, but it was a lot of money. So yes, the eight weeks are technically free, but it's like worked into like a 20 week program. So the whole thing is like a sales pitch or a scam. Um, he tried to get me to give him my credit card information even after I said, you know, I can't really make an investment like this without discussing it with my husband because we don't make financial decisions like without at least chit-chatting with each other so I'd have to call him back. And then he was like kind of guilt tripping me and saying like, you know, most people that say that they don't actually sign up for the program and I really think you would benefit from it and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, well, why don't you just give me your credit card information now? And if you change your mind, you can just cancel it. And I'm just kind of like, this is BS. I'm not doing it. Like, I'm just not doing it, but I'm too nice. So I was like, no, it sounds so great. Like, thank you for your time. I will touch base with you tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna sign up. I just wanna discuss it with my husband. And I got off the phone, or got off the computer, like the Zoom chat as soon as I could. And then, guess what I did? I bawled my eyes out because, I don't know. I just felt vulnerable. I felt like stupid. Um, like I felt weird for like sharing personal information with this dude that's like a trainer at a gym and I just felt bad because I was so like meek and wimpy and I'm just not normally like that like normally I'd be like okay buddy like come on like like quit the sales pitch is it free or not <laughs> you know what I mean but I was just so emotional I felt so bad so I was really sad and I cried a lot and um then I talked to a girl that I work with who suffers from anxiety and depression and is like really hard on herself and really feels self-conscious about her body. And she clicked on the same thing and did give the person her credit card information and they charged her credit card even after she didn't want to be in the program. So I went from being like really sad and feeling bad about myself um, to being really, really angry <laughs> because like, I don't know. It's one thing for you to like prey on somebody who's like confident and you know, just kind of clicked on something on a whim to target, you know, women who are like overweight and feeling bad about themselves and you know, trying to make this like emotional connection and string them along and then get them to sign up for this program. I don't know. I was just so mad. I was really mad and I'm still mad, which is good because this is the thing that really sparked this like fire in me to make a change in my life because I was like, who is that person that was so sad? <laughs> like, it's okay to be sad. I I'm not saying it's not, but who is that person that just like let that dude like make me feel that like insecure and sad, right? So I was like, that's not me, that's not Susie, that is another person that I don't wanna be. So I'm gonna take that energy and that anger <laughs> for this poor fella who probably like has to do like, I don't know, employee training on how to get people to sign up for the program, like he's a salesperson, whatever. But like, how can I just take that anger and turn it into like this fire um, to, to find myself again? So I, that's kind of how that started. Don't click on those friggin' ads that you see. You don't need that. What I'm gonna talk to you about today is how you can, you know, 
get in good shape and feel healthy and get yourself back without spending any money or giving anybody a time the time of day except for me because you're watching this video um but i just want to tell you about how you can motivate yourself and how you can set yourself up for success so now here comes like the nitty gritty like the bones of the video that was the longest intro ever. I think I will timestamp this video so that people can just skip to this part because uh, not everybody wants to hear me go on and on and on. I know some of you like my crazy accent and you like hearing me, you know, blab and go on, but most people just want to uh, get to the point. So here's the point. So the point is, how do you go from being someone who's exhausted? I mean exhausted and has no time, feels like you have no time to exercise, no motivation, you're out of shape, you can't open a pickle jar, you find it hard to bend down on the floor and stand up, um, to feeling the way I have felt for the last few months, which is like I could jump over my house. I feel like I have so much more energy and I'm just so much happier and that is uh, what I want for you and it's free. You don't have to buy anything. You don't have to subscribe to my channel. You don't have to watch any more of my videos. Um, you just have to listen to me talk for probably about five more minutes. Um, so number one, I really think that in order for you to get the most out of um, exercising and being active, you have to change uh, your goals. So instead of my goals being you know, to lose five or 10 pounds or to be more toned or look better in a bathing suit or blah, blah, blah. Like there's none of that superficial stuff anymore. My goal was to feel healthy and fit and to have more energy. So I want to feel like I have stamina and I have more energy and I can run around my backyard with my kids. I have the energy to stay up late um, in the evening and watch TV that I want to watch. I was so tired. I couldn't even, after my kids went to bed, I couldn't even stay up and watch TV. I just wanted to go right to bed. Um, so that should be your goal. And maybe you have slightly more specific goals than that, but my goal is to just be healthy and have like a healthy, active lifestyle and feel like I have energy. And if you have that goal, then you will never be disappointed. So if your goal is that you want to lose 10 or 15 pounds or, or whatever, then if that takes longer than you thought, or if you uh, go through periods of time where you're just like, you know, overeating a little bit or not eating healthy or just kind of like falling off the wagon, you didn't exercise for a few days and you get on the scale and the scale doesn't move, you're going to be disappointed and you're going to give up. So if your goal is just to be healthier, um, and have more energy then maybe you have a week that you only work out once that week but you shouldn't be disappointed because you're still you know being proactive in like taking care of your health so that's the motivation that's what I want you to think about I want you to think that you're worth it and that you deserve to have a lot of energy and you deserve to be healthy and feel good and be active thing number two is you need to find something to do that suits your lifestyle. There are a lot of us that don't want to spend the money on a gym membership, like an expensive gym membership, or you don't have the money. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, maybe you don't have the time to drive from your house to the gym and then exercise and then come back to the gym. That's kind of like where I was. Like, even though the gym is only 10 minutes away from my house, I still, that extra 20 minutes one way and then the other, like I just didn't have that time. I also found that the most convenient times for me to exercise would be times that I was home anyway and my kids were home. So if I'm home and my husband's not home and my kids are here, I can't just pick up and go. I can't go to the gym. The weather's crappy. I can't take my kids outside and be active right now. I just needed to find something that I could do that was convenient, that I could do with the drop of a hat at any time that I had the time wearing any outfit, as long as I had my sneakers on, something I could do. And so what I started doing was home workouts. So I know what you're thinking. You're like, Susie, that's fine. You're doing home workouts, but guess what? I don't have a gym, I don't have weights, I don't have a mat, I don't have anything. I don't have uh, a room in my house with like a big floor space or anything like that. And guys, I get it. It's so easy to make excuses and to find barriers. Um, 
And my biggest barrier was that I found I didn't have the time where I was alone that I could like go to the gym and, or like maybe my kids would be asleep. Um, but I w wasn't able to leave my house because, you know, I can't go like jogging in the neighborhood and leave my kids in the house with the doors locked. They're five and two, it's just uh, not gonna happen. So um, that was my big barrier was finding the time. But maybe your barrier is just like the excuse is like, I don't have a gym in my house and whatever, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm telling you right now, you don't need it. You don't need anything. I wish that I was brave enough um, to take you downstairs in my basement and show you where I exercise right now. It's an old bathroom. Um, it's super old. It's like half the tiles are missing out of the ceiling. There's like a toilet and a sink down there. We keep all of our recyclables down there and like my soil, my potting soil for my plants and stuff like that. It's just a disaster. But it's got a like a kind of... My dog's barking just waiting. But it does have like a big floor down there. I feel like I'm alone, but I can still hear what's going on upstairs. It has a big mirror. Um, and it's a room that nobody really uses. So that has become my workout room. I wish that I was brave enough and had the balls enough to take you downstairs and show you um, what it looks like down there. I'll screw it. This is my gym. Look, look at all those recyclables I have to go through. Toilet. Tiles missing in the ceiling, told you, look, this is what I do, dead serious. I just come down here and crank my music, right? Lots of room. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm recommending. I'm recommending exercising in your home. Um, and maybe, you know, you can get out and get to the gym, or maybe the weather is great where you are and you can walk outside and that is great. But I'm just saying, if you have all of the same kind of barriers that I have, like you've got the kids and that and the weather's crappy and you can't get outside and you don't want to leave your house and you don't want to drive to the gym and you don't want to pay for a gym membership and you're in a rut and you just want to do something, um, then I'm highly recommending exercising in your house. And I'm actually going to recommend a certain uh, workout channel. Um, so I'm recommending this channel for a number of reasons. The first reason that I'm going to recommend this channel is because she has like hundreds of videos um, and and I have no affiliation with this person. I've never even like messaged her on Instagram or anything like that. I just love her channel. So um, my only problem with her channel is that she's too good looking. <laughs> um, but anyway, her channel is called Growing Anna Nass. I think I said Growing Ananas. My nose is itchy. I think I said Growing Ananas last week, but I feel like maybe her name is Anna Nass or Anna Nass. And I'm going to link it below. But anyway, the reason I'm recommending her channel is because one of my other barriers is just that time limitation. So like I don't have an hour and a half to exercise. Some days I don't have an hour. I also don't want to add too much into my life right now because I am busy and I don't want to feel busier. So I will pick videos based on like the type of workout it is and how long it is. Um, and I really like that all of her videos are categorized by how long they are, and the type of exercise. So on her channel, there's strength videos. So there's like a 20 minute video where you do all of your upper body strength stuff. There's core videos. There's flexibility and mobility videos. There's videos for people with bad knees. There's videos for people who can't get down on the floor and stand back up. There's videos that are all standing. There's videos for, for people who don't like to jump. There are so many videos. There's beginner videos. There's advanced videos. There's a ton of videos. Um, so I'm going to leave the video that I just did today in my description box below and some beginner ones as well. But, um, basically what I've been doing is doing one of her videos three or four days a week. Um, and then I teach my spin class another day a week. I just started teaching spinning because I've been feeling so good after doing these videos and feeling like I'm more mobile and getting in better shape. Um, and they needed a spin instructor desperately at the gym that's close to me. Everybody had COVID. Um, so, um, I was feeling good and I went and taught a class and like, no looking back. It's one of the best things I ever, uh, started doing again for myself, but you don't need to go to spinning or teach spinning, uh, to get in shape. I just recommend moving three or four days a week, you know, five if you can, but, um, three or four days a week is great. And if you only have 15 minutes, do her 15 minute videos. Um, and so what I've been finding works well for me is, um, I have two kids. My two-year-old goes to bed at around 7.30. 
So when I put him to bed, I've been going down and exercising for a half hour and then I come upstairs, uh, Wilson, my five-year-old, is hanging out with my husband at that time of the evening. Um, and I come upstairs and then my husband goes and exercises and then I put Will to bed. And I don't put both kids to bed um, all the time, but let's just face it, they want their mom. So it works out really, really well. Um, and so I've been doing that. On the weekends, I'll go downstairs super early in the morning. If I wanted to, if I was working at nine o'clock, I could set my alarm and go downstairs in my pajamas. Um, and exercise and I know that it's only going to be 20 minutes or 25 minutes or a half hour um, and that's another reason that I like her video so a lot of her videos are Tabata style which is like you do an exercise for 30 or 40 or 50 seconds one exercise like it just repeats over and over and over again and then you have a 10 second break and then you repeat it and then you have a 10 second break or she does videos where there's no repeats it's like you know, one exercise for each body part or um, just like, you know, 20 different exercises over the course of however many minutes. But the reason I like it is because it's not really choreographed to music. So if I get bored of the music that she's using, which is really good by the way, but it's just not my music, then I can mute the video and put my own music on and it doesn't really matter that it doesn't go exactly to the beat of the music because you're only you're just repeating something over and over so I really like that. The other thing that I like about those types of videos is that I don't like doing things that I don't like to do. So in pretty much every one of her like higher intensity videos she does burpees and I hate burpees. I don't know why. They just feel weird on my shoulders. I just don't like them. I don't enjoy doing them. So when she's doing her you know, 40 seconds of burpees, I do another 40 seconds of like jumping jacks or air squats or something else that I can do. Um, and I'm recommending that if you're going to try this, if there's exercises you don't feel comfortable doing, or maybe you're just not in good enough shape to do all of the exercises she's doing, whenever she gets those exercises that you can't do or that you don't like, just modify it or do something else as long as you're moving um, for the 30, 40, or 50 seconds, or 20 seconds for some of the videos. So just modify it, make it fun, use your own music if you want to. I really recommend not skipping the flexibility stuff at the end because that has just benefited me so much. I just feel like, I just feel younger and healthier um, and just more agile and so much better. Um, she also has flexibility and uh, mobility videos and I highly recommend those as well. Um, I just love her channel. She has really good form. There's something for everybody and I'm just warning you that if you're a beginner, if you click on her channel, you might find it a little bit intimidating because like a lot of her popular videos say like high intensity interval training. It'll have like the fire emoji um, and she's like jumping or it'll say like super intense, super sweaty, 40 minutes, blah, blah, blah. Like um, I like those videos now because I feel like I'm in shape again, but when I first started I would find those really hard. So just look at her playlists, look through her videos, find something that suits your needs and just go down and do it. Now again, like I said, my only problem with her channel is that she's just too good looking and too, in too good shape. So, um, you know, she does this for a living. You don't have to do these videos to want to have like the same body as her. She's probably like in her 20s and she's a fitness instructor for a living. So, I mean, she looks really, really great. And I find that really motivating. Um, and I'm, I was only being funny when I said she's too good looking, but just don't be intimidated is, is what I'm trying to say. You don't have to look like the fitness instructor to follow the fitness instructor. Um, and anyway, I just want you to try it. I just want you to try it. I'm going to leave the links in my description box. The whole point of this video is, again, because I feel really good and I know that some of you probably don't and I have an opportunity to talk to like thousands of people on YouTube and so I just want to share free things that I've been doing that have really, really greatly impacted my life for the better and I really hope that you try that. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was motivating and helpful. You can give it a thumbs up if you liked it and a big old thumbs down. If you didn't like it, subscribe to my channel if you want and I will see you soon in my next video.